Now, there are few uh, important angles that you need to know. There are few values of the important angles that you need to know uh, in when it comes to trigonometry functions. And there is actually a very, very easy way to remember those angles. Now, I'm going to show you those uh, that easy way. So I actually draw that table of uh, you know finding the important angle. So you're going to write down zero degrees and you're going to write down uh, 30 degrees. Then you have 45 degrees then you have 60 degrees, then you have 90 degrees, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to write down 0, 1, uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. You're going to divide each thing by 4, you know, just like that. And then you're going to square root everything. Now this is actually going to come down to the value of sine. So the value of sine 0 is 0 by 4, which is 0. This is 1 by 2, this is 1 by root 2, this is root 3 by 2, and this is 1. So the value of sine 0 is 0, the value of sine 30 is 1 by 2, sine 45 is 1 by root 2, sine 60 is root 3 by 2, sine 90 is 1. And cosine is actually the reciprocal, uh, you know, the inverse of sine. So this one is going to be written here, this root 3 by 2 is going to be written here, this 1 by root 2 would be written here, this would be written here. And this would be written here, right? So this is the cosine of x. Cosine of 0 is 1. Cosine of 30 degrees is root 3 by 2. Cosine of 45 degrees is 1 by root 2. Cosine of 60 is 1 by 2. Cosine of 90 is 0. We're going to understand the uh, reason behind this in the future videos. Right now, let's just understand how the table is formed. And the tangent of x is nothing but, which is the division of sine x over cos x. So 1 over 0 is nothing but 0. This over this is nothing but 1 by root 3. Uh, this over this is nothing but 1. This over this is nothing but uh, root 3. And 1 over 0 is nothing but not defined. So this is how you draw the table. Just write 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then you divide by 4 and then you take the under root all over. Now the values of cosecant x, the values of uh, cosecant s, secant x and cotangent x is something that you can find out by reciprocating sine, cos and tan. Right. So that is something that you can do. Fine. So, uh, so suppose you're understanding this point here, guys. Uh, this would be the website uh, to explore more about us, and uh, this would be the Facebook page to give us your valuable, valuable like, and this would be the email address to send us your valuable feedback. So that would be about the video, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you.